welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the formula for finding the area of trapezium. Today in this video, we will see examples based on the area of trapezium. This is Amit. He wants to make a picture of a pot which has parallel sides in the ratio 3 is to 1. If the area and height of the pot are 108 square centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively, can you find the measurement of the length of parallel sides? So let us make image of pot in this way. We have to find the parallel sides of trapezium. The parallel sides are in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Suppose x is the highest common factor of the values of sides AB and CD. So we can say that the measurements of AB and CD are x and 3x respectively. The area of the pot is given as 108 square centimeters. Do you remember the formula for area of trapezium? Well done! The area of trapezium is half the product of its height and some of its parallel sides. So, let's find the sum of the parallel sides. We know that the measurements of the parallel sides are x and 3x respectively. So, their sum will be 4x. Substituting the given values in the formula for the area of trapezium, gives the value of x as 6. Now, can you tell the value of parallel sides? Perfect! Substituting the value of x, we get the value of AB as 6 cm and the value of CD is 18 cm. This is what we had to find out in this question. Today, we learned to find the value of parallel sides of trapezium with the help of an example when the area of trapezium, height and the ratio of parallel sides are known to us. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions based on this.